Tourism Tax Commission, of the City of St. Genevieve, Tuesday, July the 23rd, 2013, 11 a.m. Uh, let's stand for a pledge of allegiance, if you don't mind. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's uh, have a roll call of members, please. Clinton Higgins. Here. Harry Shield. Here. Jim Ferguson. Kathleen Wall. Here. Bailey Horn. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to have approval of the uh, agenda, but I'd like to add something to it before we approve it. Uh, our bylaws call for an election in June. We did not have a meeting in June, so I'd like to add that under new business. If there are no other changes or amendments to the agenda, I move we approve the agenda. Second. Not second. Second by. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? If you all had a chance to read the minutes, and the minutes were from a January meeting on January the 23rd. Uh, if you want to have a minute to look them over or a moment to. Uh, otherwise, I'll have someone entertain a motion as soon as you've done. So moved. Motion made by okay. Kathy Walls, seconded by Gary. He's the only other one you know, can vote. One. He's, he's, one of you has <laughs> got to make it, the other's got to second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor, say five by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Not hearing. So carried. Um, financial report. I'm going to address this in maybe a different way. Uh, you have a financial report in front of you. And uh, if you notice on the page where it says 718-2003 tourism tax, it shows 23,937 $23,937.42. <clears throat> just so you have done a question where the 2000 came from was put into the file and the records that that was given to us by the Jure de Fed committee as a donation and so uh, this is a letter showing that this was part of their minutes of their meeting and the city was so kind enough to move it <clears throat> into our account so I don't know any questions on that but what I have done is um, I've adjusted this by various means. Uh, because in this quarter, this goes through this quarter, and this is this last quarter is actually the third quarter of our financial year. 
but uh, I'm sorry yeah it is and, and that quarter people don't have to pay uh, and that's April May and June until the 31st of July so uh, it's not quite accurate and if you average out what we normally would take in for, the, for that quarter uh, and I average it over the last five years it would be another eight hundred dollars so that would take this twenty three nine thirty seven up to twenty four seven thirty seven I also take out what we owe for the remainder of the year now for uh, Lamar sign company we owe them the second payment of 2367 so when I take that out it takes it back down to 22370 so these are just rough numbers okay if I add in what we average for July August and September which takes us to the end of our fiscal year with where our budget has to apply to you are following me with this that's another seven thousand and seventy dollars if you average in what we take over the for the years those are the biggest months july august mm -hmm. and september that takes us up to twenty nine thousand four hundred and forty dollars that would be in our account we have no other bills sitting there that's what we would end with for the end of the fiscal year if we said okay we've got twenty nine thousand four hundred and forty dollars and we know that a debt that we have to pay if we so desire to do so is to keep the sign and that's something we need to vote on that's what I'm saying is at this point at the end of the fiscal year we would have somewhere over twenty nine thousand dollars I want you to keep that amount in mind before we go into the next fiscal year okay so this is this is what I'm submitting as as the treasurer's report. Question. Question. And there is nothing, no surprises with that money. It rolls over. If it's in the account, it rolls over, and it it's ours to, to continue. Okay. Yes, that belongs to us. Okay. And and that's what's left over at the end of this year. If we paid all our bills, and all our bills are paid except for the twenty three hundred, and I deducted that out. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, do I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report? It's your turn. <laughs> Made a motion by Gary. Second. Seconded by Kathy. Any further discussion? If you don't understand it, I've got it down here, but it's pretty clear. That's where we're going to. That's where we're going to end up because we didn't really spend the money that we had. Okay. And of course, we got an extra two thousand. From, from the certified committee. All, right. All in favor, accepting the report? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, so carried. Um, so under, you can run the show, huh, Ken? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> under old business. And uh, the reason why I put this in there is that uh, we had an opportunity to go into this magazine. Uh, and this, I might add, is part of of uh, Bev Donzi's round robin thing it was the summer fun in Belleville now I know that last month when we talked about this in the advisory council meeting that Dina said at that point that because of this ad she had sold 70 tickets I don't know I didn't ask her today if it's if, it, if there's any more because it's still ongoing but at that point so we know that it's very hard for us to get a response on any ad that shows people were looking at it but 70 tickets for their festival that's what we advertised along with the remainder of the uh, signature events for the rest of the year uh, we had four advertisers in there we, we uh, did not get some other advertisers because <laughs> the lady who sells this doesn't know about all the shops in town and she and I have had this discussion so that we have, will have other shops but this is the ad that came out and it's a it's a one page ad okay it does advertise um, the 
bed and breakfast, not the microtel. Spoke to the owner of the microtel and he said, don't put me in there. I'm not a destination. They don't come to a town because they have a motel or a microtel. We took this, all of this information came off of the website. Didn't come from me. She picked it up. The names of the bed and breakfast, just right off the website, the summer festival. And it came out on May the 19th, which meant it fully advertised everything here. And all of these signature ones she got off of this. Um, the only thing I wanted to do was to have our logo on there, which we have, and this is the part we paid for, this part right here. Uh, and I wanted to say this, discover our historic homes, wineries, and bed and breakfast. That was a consensus of opinion of several people that said, uh, we want to advertise our historic houses. That's our traditional thing. That's why we're here. That's the only thing we have to offer that no one else has. We also have quite a few wineries, I think a total of about eight, if you count the two that are right on the border, uh, and which are out there as well, and the bed and breakfast, which is an attraction. We didn't say anything about the shops. We didn't say anything about the restaurants. Of course, we have shops and restaurants. So she gave us this at the top, shop, stroll, and stay. That wasn't our deal, but she gave us all of that, okay? I need a motion. We did this through a telephone uh, approval. I talked to each of the commissioners, and the commissioners approved it, but I'd like to get it into the record, so if someone would make a motion uh, to accept this ad from uh, the Belleville News Democrat. So you just want to technically, you just want it in the minutes? Just in the minutes yeah. so that we have it in there. I'll make a motion that we accept it. And I have a second. <laughs> second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. I'm disapproving. <laughs> I just want us to make sure that we do that. And what, part of the reason for that is if we have no other further old business, we'll move to new business uh, and talk about advertising. Now we'll go back to the amount of $29,000. This particular advertisement is, is well accepted by the shops in town. Uh, we of the bed and breakfast know that we get a lot of people from the Illinois side, I think there's 14 counties that this goes into. I can't remember exactly how many. It's a bunch. It's a bunch. But the shops in town tell me, and they've told me over the last 20 years, that they get a lot of people from the east side. And it, it's a very inexpensive advertisement. Uh, in this case, we actually advertised eight weekends, plus all of our signature events, for $500. It comes out twice a year in the spring and the fall. Uh, with you know, and the problem with doing these things is that if you don't, if if you don't do it in advance, like I'm trying to do right now, they'll wait until it's got a week to go, and they'll kind. Of, that's the way they operate. They seem to operate. Most newspapers <laughs> seem to operate on. I need this today for next week, and I'm thinking that. I like to bring up the fact that it comes out twice a year and that we can turn this over to her, but approve now for the fall one. It's $500. Uh, I've been in it for years and years. Uh, and we know that it works because our, our, our Chamber of Commerce director said they sold, and this was a meeting or two back, 70 tickets because of this. So people are paying attention to it, and the business owners in town like it, and, and we don't, <coughs> it, would go, it would go fine in her grant, but we have the money, it's $500. What do you think for the fall one? I think we ought to do it, and I'll put that in the form of a motion. Okay. And you want to give this to her? Oh, oh. To no, it isn't. It. You made the right choice. Oh, absolutely. I think, yeah. Uh, Kathy, uh, there was a, a, an addendum to your motion, or a question about an addendum. 
Do you do you also uh, propose give this to make the motion to do it and give the uh, budget Sandra, yes. the budget of five hundred to her to spend on this, uh, and and she will coordinate it also. Yes. Yes. I I so amend the motion. Didn't really have to. Okay. Second. Okay. Any further discussion on it? We'll have a point of discussion. I, it just goes along with what you were saying, Mike. Um, absolutely, the Belleville News Democrat is a very valuable publication, and it probably would have qualified under the grant, but it wasn't included in the grant's proposal. So even if I wanted to pay for that through the grant, I don't have any approved funds to do that. So I think it's absolutely, you know, we need to be doing more of this kind of thing. Yeah, and, 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 this, and this fits in, not, not to get off the subject, but it fits in with Bev Donzi's Round Robin. Uh, and, and there's plenty of room for advertisers to go in here. Uh, we have four in here now. We could easily have had six or more. And that always makes a statement in a community when they see all this advertisement and all these things and it's a whole page deal. So I'll just leave it up to that. Uh, any further discussion? I just would want to add to that, that Bev has done, we keep referencing her round robin, a phenomenal job putting yeah. that together. Talk about a grassroots effort. She did a great right. job with right. it. It's up and it's rolling. I did my first turn, and now I don't have a turn coming up in that again for like five or seven months or something, which isn't to say I'm not doing any other advertising. It's just on that program. She did a great job with it. I, I believe so, too. And. Um, and it doesn't cost any money except to the business owners who are advertising. It's not That's right. It's not this commission money. It's not anybody right. else's money. Yeah. Well, we do. Uh, she has asked for me to commit to support it in the future. With the so, donor or something? Right, okay. right. And, and so there will be opportunities. I will need more budget to be able to do that. And I absolutely want to be able to do that and support it uh, both with paid space and the editorial and so on. So. Well, in, in, in October, I hadn't actually given her the okay, but I said I would try to talk to the commission to do something in her October thing for the truth of that. And this would actually be that for October, because that's when that comes out. Mm -hmm. So that would, that would show support from the tax commission for her round robin. I think okay. that's a good idea. I just want to make sure that I have this in here right. Approve the, the purchase of an ad in the Belleville News Democrat in fall of 2013 and turn it over to Sandra to coordinate. Right. It was, thank you. May I address the? Go ahead. Is there a similar um, type of thing that's done by the Post-Dispatch? You know, there is. And, and uh, actually, the Post-Dispatch is coming up with a, a, a different one. And that is part of that. and. If that's called the uh, Feast Magazine, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So, okay. Yeah, I'm in that too. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None appearing. Passed. Uh, and, and, and that's another thing that uh, Bev is, is doing, and, and that's in the Feast Magazine. And I don't know. Uh, the lady that is handling that is um, Diane Bonhoff. And the ads in that are $200. And there's going to be a St. Genevieve heading across the top with our logo, you know, St. Genevieve and the Portly and the Bush. And um, uh, some stuff in it. it. It basically looks like this. I've actually updated the heading. Yeah, and, and it's up to them. Now, personally, yes, I purchased an ad. And that's going to come out uh, August, September, and October. So I don't know what the rest of you want to do. And I don't know if she's going to approach us sooner or later to buy something across the top. She already has. And that's part of the commitment that I have to make. To then we don't need to spend any money? <laughs> <laughs> OK. But yeah, that's, and, that's and this I took an ad in that, and I don't know who else is doing it. Yeah, I don't know who else is doing it either. 200 for this. It's 200. For the top? No, it's 200 for one of these space, spaces right, here. I'm just asking about the top. I don't know what. Uh, she's asked for a $200 commitment from me to support that. 
and I told her I would support it. I'll have to, I mean, there, there are many of these things that I've got to find budget availability to do. It won't come out of the grant, yeah. but it'll have to come out of some other budget dollars. So. Right. Okay. So you know, you know about this. And we're doing want, the design. Do we need to give you this information? Do you want to be part of it? You, at first, you had to take all three. You had to take uh, August well, and September, October. But she's had pretty, pretty much a lot of, of activity on it. So she's letting some people just take a month. I'm going to. I'd like to make a motion that we supply the $200 for the top part on that. OK. I'll second that. <coughs> Any further discussion? That she doesn't have to fight or worry about it in her budget. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 And that will show us our support. Not a, not a, no dissension, so it's passed. Not opposed. Right. Yeah. And, and this is in the Post Dispatch Feast magazine uh, for one of the one of the particular months. So you'll be. This will just be for one month. Right now, unless she runs broke and we still got money. <laughs> I'm not going to make that an form of a motion, but I'm going to say that. No, but that's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to look at it. Um, the other thing is, uh, I'd like to talk about um, the billboard. Now, our contract with the, with the billboard was for one year, because we're not allowed to do more than one year at a time. Uh, I've had a lot of people positive, I haven't had any negatives on the billboard. Um, there's two of them. Um, let's open it for discussion. Well, I'm assuming that the $2,000 that the Jure Defect Committee donated is going to be used strictly for the billboard. Am I wrong in that assumption? No, they didn't say it was just for the billboard. It just says that they gave it to us because we purchased the billboard. Right. But uh, it, would go, it would go toward the cost of the billboard, which is approximately, I'll give you an exact. Well, $11,000. $11,004. And $4. But wouldn't that included in that price? Wasn't that also the setup fee for it? Like the design and stuff. When they're like a six hundred dollar design fee um, in that, that we paid. Yes, it, it was. In, I in have both, to pull the contract in, in both but, places. But um, two separate companies. Two, two separate, separate companies. companies did it, and what they did was they did it over the year. So I don't know whether it would come down any or not. It should come but let's, down. But let's, well, between you and I, we think it should come down. But let's say it doesn't come down, and that was like $600. It was $600 for one and like 450 for the other, for the if other I remember, one. right? Yeah. So it would come down $1,000, basically, right. if uh, we, we went on to the second year. And we need, to, we need to ask them about that. But here's the thing. We need to make a motion because... Uh, we'd have to sign another contract. That contract wouldn't actually come up until probably February. January or February, right? Should be February. But though we're talking about budget and we have to submit this budget right, right away to the city, uh, do we want to put that, let's say, $11,000 in the budget? Yeah, I think so. I definitely think so. Well, you want to make a motion in the form of that? Is it my turn, Gary? Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion. It's my turn. <laughs> A second. We should take any further discussion. Keep count. I'm losing track. I, I think what we should do is we should get this thing out to to all the people that have funds and have events if they want to tag on to it. Yeah, the Jared Fed Committee has done this, and our only stipulation is that they pay for it, and then they're paying for it as a banner to go on it. It it pays for it to put it up and to take it down. And our only stipulation is that they have to, and, and I've talked to both sign companies, that they'll have it down within a week because we think, basically, that it's a little 
tacky to have a sign up that says come to Jure de Fet in September when it's not. Yeah. But the thing of it is. They're uh, pretty good about that. Right. But Jack Donzie said he's interested in putting it up for Rural Heritage Days, which is the next event in October. And when he, he was the one that initially did the contact with these billboard companies, and he was the one that said that they told him that one, especially, uh, I can't think of their name now, Drury, they said that, and that's the one I remember, they said that if they go up to put one up the same time they take one down, then that would reduce the cost of the right. person putting yes. up the banner. Yes. That's a good point, yeah. So, you know, before well, we say it's got to be done on a certain date, then Make we sure need to know Jack to Donzie's ready. We need to get ready. a hold of Jack right. and say to Jack, if you want to do this, because me and him, he talked to me about it. So. Yeah, we're, said, we're open for that. Because so I had talked to... Uh, and, I, I, and I even talked to someone who has a private sign on the southbound that has agreed that they would let them put a banner on there. So if, so if we take down Jure de Fet, we ought to be ready to go up, up with the Rural point. Heritage. That's right. Would and, you like for me to contact Jack yes. Densey and Yeah, and, 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 uh, and as soon as Rural Heritage is done, then... Uh, what is that called? The Christmas, Christmas yeah. 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 Holiday Christmas Fest. And that would be... Um, and then... Yep. That, that could go uh, up. And, you know, that would save... And, and that would save Absolutely. them some money. Right. Because Jared Fed has paid their money to put it up mm -hmm. and take it down. And now the next guy can just pay to have theirs taken down. So it's $2,000 if you put one up and take one down. No, it's it's $250. It's $125 to put it up, $125 to take it down. Oh, okay. But what we're saying is, like if Jack would get... What's the 2000 The 2000 is from donation. the donation. Was it well, donation? That was the cost of the banner. No, 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 no. That was just donation. donation to us. The banner is up to the person, and we were told the banners would usually cost around $500. No, $250. $250, okay. That's what they're both charging $250 yeah. for the banners. But... They're putting them on both sides, so it's costing them 500. Yeah, I and, just got the numbers confused. Yeah, and and uh, that's up to them if they want to do both signs or just one sign. I mean, if they just want to do the one sign that's closest to the exit, that's that's okay with us. But they have to coordinate that, and that's the problem. Coordinate it with the sign company that they're the next one to put up a sign, and here's and they have to get it developed right now because. The week after, it should come down, and the next one should go up. Well, and those footers are usually just text across the bottom. Yeah, well, they're, they're putting MC these across the top. Oh, I'm sorry, top. Well, it's up to them, up to the sign company and the people that do it. We're not, we're not getting involved in it. We, well, we specified on the top because we, on the bottom it says turn the next one. Yeah, but they're putting, and, and the one is going actually above, it went above the sign, and the other one went across the... Uh, Hold the cows. We said you could do either take, take it off the bottom, well, you don't cover anything, put it above so you don't cover anything, or if you want it to be on the billboard, put it across the Bull Duke House. Those are the three options. So if you'll contact I will. Me, okay. Do we make a motion on this? And, and do the sign? Yeah, we, we did. did. We? I, think you're I get lost. Yes. Yeah. My age. It was my turn. I made the motion. Okay. To set aside eleven thousand dollars for budget. Yeah. Okay. Twenty fourteen. Okay. Now, if you take that out of the twenty nine, we still have eighteen thousand dollars left. Plus, plus, we have all of next year's tax dollars coming in, which would be somewhere in the neighborhood of twenty thousand dollars. Well, you know, we've, you know, we've lost one bed and breakfast for sure. So we're going to be missing that income. I'm not sure how much they donated, or paid, not donated, but paid. I mean, it's probably going to be a while before Main Street Inn gets their business filled back up. Are they going to keep the name? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, if you go to this page, well, I'm just saying we don't want to spend $18,000. Well, and, it's, and it shows here that when we lost the hotel, it didn't affect us a terribly lot. But I don't imagine the hotel brought too much in. I don't know. 
I have no idea what they brought in. But we lost La Cacarelle, and I don't imagine they brought a whole lot in either. Main good. Street did. Yeah, what I'm saying is that normally, if you look at the bottom line here, we've taken in 28, 22, 8, 22, 4, 23, 6, 24, 5, 22, 8, 22, 1. Right, but I'm just saying, no. we, you keep saying $18,000. Right now, we will have. Look, I'm just saying. In our cash, right. without, without the money but coming in next year. That's a ballpark figure. It might be a little bit less than that. The 18 we have in the account? Yeah. No. We will have 29 in the account at the end of this fiscal year. And if we take projected. 11 out, we'll it's have projected. 18. It's projected. If we take another 500 I'm out, we'll saying it's projected. The it's not a 100% guarantee, right? Yeah. You're going on a projection, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's projected that we'll have 29,000. We might not we have. We might not have 29,000. Right. So I'm just saying when you said we had 18,000, it's like you're saying we have it. Well, we don't have it. We projected that we have it. Part of that is, is that, uh, and, and I will go back to when there were just fewer bed and breakfast. Well, I understand all that, but I'm just saying. If they're going to stay in St. Genevieve, they're going to stay in St. Genevieve, even if it's not open. Right, but I'm just saying, Yeah. we you know, this, we just don't want to sit here and say, well, we're going to spend $18,000 is what I'm saying. No, I'm not going to say we're going to spend $18,000, right. but I'm saying that we have 18000 probably left over. Let's say that, that their share was three thousand dollars we would still have fifteen thousand left over before we start taking in the tax money for this next year right and i understand that but i'm just saying and what, why i I'm just saying, get nervous when somebody says we have yeah. when it's a no, project I'm, I'm saying we will physically have at least in my estimation at least right. fifteen thousand left over that we have not spent and that's what the obligation of spending the eleven thousand right Okay, now you still have the income coming in from that year. There has to be, even in our worst years, if you went back to uh, in, in the 90s or something, we were still taking in twenty-two, twenty-three thousand dollars $23,000 a year. Right. So, okay. Is this my way of coming up with your anticipated revenue so you can establish your budget? Is yeah. That would yeah, and what I'm saying is, and here's what I'm saying, I don't want to see us sit on money when we should be spending it to bring in tourism right because right now we're sitting on you know except for the vote we just took 20 something thousand dollars and and that's that eleven thousand is coming out of next year's budget and we still haven't got to the amount of revenue that's going to come in no matter what happens we will bring in 18 or twenty thousand dollars it's always been that way. So you feel so comfortable even in, budgeting thirty thousand well, dollars? Even, even in the even year. in the years when we've had failures and we've had things like the largest inn in town was closed, which was the Inn St. Jim. We still had heavy revenues. So right. what I'm saying is, why are we sitting on this money? That's what I wonder. I would like to second that and and I would and support that concept. I think. It's more than just why are we sitting on the money in my mind. It's incumbent upon this commission to spend that public money for the purpose for which it has been collected. You know, it's nice to look at that big fat checkbook and say, oh, look, we have $18,000. But what we're supposed to be doing is spending that money for the promotion of tourism as an economic development tool, not just building a bank account. So I agree with you completely. Thank you. Gary, what do you think? I have no problem. I just got a problem. You say we have eighteen thousand dollars when we might not have. Okay. I think we should give it all to Sandra. You know what the heck? Well, <laughs> we have another proposal on the on the on the uh, you know on the table. I mean, I'm, I am in agreement with. There's no reason for us to be holding money. And let's give let's give everybody out. Oh, thank you. Here's the key. I've got one. Okay. There's Sparky. That's the You got one? No. Sorry. Just, oh, okay. okay. And this proposal is because 
Years ago, with Donna, we did some TV ads. We must really, and, and that they were real expensive. I think the one of them was a grant, six thousand uh, in Memphis, which is a little far away, but we get lots of people from Memphis. It's not not out of our market. It's fact, it's way part of our market. Yes. But I called the St. Louis market because there's three million people up there, and we had done this thing on Facebook which was 500 in the Belleville, which took in the St. Louis market, and 500 in Wentzville, which took in the county and part of the St. Louis market. And we got pretty good response out of it, but <clears throat> it's not the kind of advertisement that we control. And so I called the two TV stations, the two bigger ones in St. St. Louis, four and five, asked them for something that would uh, give us a proposal. And this proposal is from uh, Michelle Bailey uh, in Channel 4. And it's a great day type thing. And I mean, she's, I physically got this yesterday. I've been pressing them since February. And <clears throat> last week I said to her, I'm calling for a meeting. We have to do our budget. Would you like to send me something? She said, I'll work it up, and she sent it to me yesterday. I shared this with uh, Sandra, and she was kind enough to make these copies for me. And it, it comes down to several things that they will do. They will send the TV crew down here to do a, I don't even know how long it is. A spot, it is, um, if you look at the page here, it's uh, 15 seconds. No, the one that no, the one that's um, those are the commercials. The great the great day is is actually probably five to six minutes. Yeah, that's actually and, and, and they showed they gave us one to look at. It's on St. Charles. Uh, they come down with their TV crew, and then that goes on their website, so people can look at that anytime they want. And, and I don't remember how long it stays out there. Uh, the way she has proposed it, it's several months. Yeah, it stays out there for a, a, a very long time. And it's on their website. And then this last page here that you're looking at is uh, 28 commercials each month for five months. Now, the five months that we selected are the five months when we don't have a lot of advertisement going on and we have very few people coming to town. I talked to Kathy about this, and she said it would, she thought it would be great to do that because December, other than the, the Christmas walk, is pretty dead. Mm -hmm. uh, January is, is dead. February is fine because of uh, Valentine's Day. March, in my business, has always been my slowest month. So I've done other things to create half prices, two nights, second night free, all kinds of things like that to create business for people to come in and stay. April it begins picking up, but that's the start of the season. So by doing five months and doing these commercials, um, and, and it, as far as I'm concerned, if we approve this or go for it, it's going to get turned over to Sandra because what they say on there in, you know, in those periods. It's got to be someone that knows what they should say. What's the I'm cost? I'm just putting it that way. What's the cost? Okay. The cost is almost $16,000. 15850 Say again? $15,850. It, it turns out to be 148 commercials. Here's the times. That, you know that they're that they're doing them on this page here, uh, six to seven a.m. Uh, their news hour and their, their their one program I think is from eleven ten to eleven. Then their news hour is twelve to twelve thirty, and and then they have uh, on Saturday they have a news hour, and uh, Monday through Friday uh, they have a, a five at a 10 news hour in prime time. And then they have a rotating one that's gonna be uh, sometime in the evening 
and it'll rotate. And that's the only one that's actually the rotating one. And it'll be five times. Approximately 140 hours. 148 hours. I mean, 140 hours. 148 commercials. Yeah, about, about 140 dollars a commercial. Mm -hmm. Now, does it? How many does it reach? I didn't ask for that. Uh, it depends on your preference on whether you watch Channel Two, which is Fox, four or five, in the St. Louis area. And to be technically correct, we would have to get uh, three competitive bids on this. No, we don't have to. No, this 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 commission can spend the money any way they like. Okay. We're so not, we don't have any state. We don't have any state. Uh, and and to do the commercial, you know, the other. And I even contacted Channel 2, and they never called me back. And the guy from Channel 5, he called me back in May, and I said, we have to have our budget in. I need this by June. We have to have our budget in at meeting in July. We're at the end of July. So and he, you haven't heard from him? haven't heard a word from him. Well, if you have the capability for a sole source, then uh, that's great. We can't. I wasn't aware of that. And, and it's... Um, Sometimes it's not always apples to apples um, when you go with something like this because different uh, broadcasting stations have a higher rating than others. And right now, uh, according to the market trend, I think Channel 4 has the highest rating. And of course, shows have different ratings. So and their shows have different ratings too. Yes, that's correct. This is like their lowest rated show. According to the former member of the cast. Yeah. Uh, and that's why the, the, they're different. Let's put it that way. I'll make a motion we do it. And I'll second that motion. I think it's a great concept, and you've got it timed exactly right. We don't need to be promoting Fourth of July. We need during these slow times. Absolutely, I think it's great. Do you want to make that motion that we turn this over to Sandra and she sure. coordinates it? I have a question on that oh, yeah. motion. Do you want it? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, it's not gonna to be too much for you. No, to be I'll juggling. call in help if I need it. Okay. Um, and, I, and I know that um, having worked with these stations before, they will have, uh, you know, depth of okay. staffing to, to call on. I was just going to add that the Jure de Fet committee recently did a television commercial and um, and so that could be really good because people you know they'll have a little bit of uh, mm -hmm. exposure and, and um, impressions if you will and from I this think, didn't, didn't uh, Annette do something on TV last year too? I couldn't say for sure. I thought she told me she did. I, she I might have done an interview. Out of turn here, but I thought she told me she did something on know. TV last year. Well, well, Joe Fett did a paid commercial. Yeah. I don't know that, uh, and that's would have been a paid commercial. I, I don't know. know. It is, yeah. But um, well, and here's and here's the thing too. There's there's this other part about them sending down this this TV crew. She could coordinate that too. Yeah. I mean, you know, they, they go into shops, they go into restaurants, and they make this 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 thing, and it's it's out there on their website, and people can look at it and go through it, and it's very very well done. I I like the one that mm -hmm. was done for St. Charles. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really very upscale, uh, great color. Uh, they, they use great people. Uh, they use the morning crew is what they use. What's her name? She's a St. Louis girl. I can't think of it. Anyway, got a motion in a second. Yes. Okay, any further I discussion? You made a second. Mm -hmm. Now, even with that said, we will still have the money coming in next year. So we're not something we're not new. taking ourselves down, you know, so if things come up, we still will we should still have dollars coming in. And in a perfect world we'll have more. <laughs> In a perfect world. Well, that's true. Now, is this, will this have this? I mean, was well, anyway, we get a motion in a second on the floor. We have, have we voted? Yet? We didn't vote. No, yet, no. Any more discussion? Oh. I just want to make sure that I have it right for you. 
We have a motion to enter into a contract for Camo V Channel 4 for 148 commercials from December 2013 through April 2014 for $15,850 and turn over to Sandra Cabot to coordinate. We have a motion by Gary and a second by Kathy. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 This is a new uh, a new area for us. Something we need to try, we need yep. to try something different. We always need to, like she said at her earlier meeting, we need to get into other venues. And, and this is a first for us for, for something like this. And, and here's little St. Genevieve trying to get out there on the marketplace. And it, and it the, I don't need to pontificate. I just think that, reaching out to that demographic in the St. Louis metropolitan region is where we need to really focus that in that Cape Memphis area. If you go to New Jersey and do a lot of advertising, that guy may come here once, like he went to Vatican City and never come back again. Yeah. We, we need people who can be repeat visitors and these people can. So, okay. Kind of following up on Kathy's earlier comment, do you anticipate formulating a budget for your estimated revenues I mean that's normally the way public bodies work yeah um, here's here's what I what I say now we're on to this next part of our, our meeting and that's the 214 budget okay uh, out of the 214 budget I mean we we've, we've got a lot of money and we've got money coming in but out of the 214 budget we now have budgeted 16,000 and 11,000. That's 27,000 dollars. You budgeted the money you have in the bank. Yeah, we have. Now, and not, not knowing what's going to come in next year. And so we're budgeting the money out of the bank and that's what our budget's going to be. I say we add in for marketing concepts an additional amount of dollars, six to, to 10,000 dollars. We can supplement her. We can she can find other avenues for us to spend the money. If you all, in, in other words, it's all it is, is a, we're gonna have specifics here. We're gonna budget for the billboard for next year, 11,000. And, and this is all money in the bank and 16,000, okay? And I, I would like to, to have us put more on paper it can always be changed or amended just because you agree to a budget doesn't mean it's carved in stone but if we collectively say okay so we would like to continue to do tv and that let's say we're going to do x amount half uh, half again or as much as we did or, or, or do yeah. yeah or do some some yeah. uh, do that and something else but i kind of think we shouldn't fly by the seat of our pants but pretty much have a plan so when these people come from feast magazine or whatever it's not always drop everything you're doing and jump up and create an ad we need to plan more in the budgeting process i think which goes back to target markets and segments and, and um, yeah. promoting it as a destination and, and tapping into those markets in the right geographic areas. Just to, I, I think sometimes in this discussion up here, you're talking about both sides of the equation. And, you, and in terms of a budget, you have to set a, an amount that you believe is going to be the revenue coming in next year. Not all the stuff that you got in the bank already. Right. right. So that's the revenue side. And then you have the expense side, and that's the other side. But how much of that are you going to spend? And are you going to have a reserve that carries over to the next year? I mean, I think you got to set both of those for your budget, I think, don't you, Mark? Do you want this Well, um, yes, and it ought you, to be you, for you, real. You could, you could just be not pretend. spend, budget any of your anticipated yeah. revenue, and every year spend what you have in the bank. I mean, it's, there's nothing not illegal about that. Right. Well, this is actually what Kathy said is your charge is to spend the money as it comes in. Well, not, not necessarily in the old, up until two or three years ago, that money was used as the match for the co-op. Yeah. And they did have a bank of $20,000. Right. And then that got spent down in that one year when we, the, 
the budget was overrun for the general. And then it, you know, the, the now the problem you have here is your kind of revenue stream is a little unpredictable. Yes. And um, you know, when we budget for, I don't know, just take a for supplies. Uh, we kind of meter out the expenditure over the year, and if you budget for an ad campaign, you, know, you need to make sure that you're not committing to something ahead of your ability to pay for it. Right. Uh, so it, it, it's problematic. I don't know. No, I, I mean, that's uh, why they call it work. Having that uh, uncommitted amount is not a bad thing in this particular budget, I don't think. I, no, I just either. think you have to give an estimate of how much your revenue is going to be. And, if, and how much you're going to spend, and you may not want to spend it all even. Well, that's, that's why I said I, I think our estimate would, would easily fall into in the category of eighteen to twenty thousand dollars. Very, revenue. very simply, right? Revenue. But you and won't have the eighteen thousand dollars to spend in the first quarter. No. I mean, no. And that's that's the, no. the yes. kind of the issue. But we we could, and the reason why is we we will have already paid all of our debts off. And that eleven thousand doesn't start until so January, February. February, and at that point we we always pay the first bill of six thousand, and we only pay half of the other one. So you will have already had revenue from by the time you get to that from almost two quarters. You will have one full quarter, which is October, November, December, and you'll have January and February before you even commit to pay what we've already said we would do, which is the billboard. So you will have almost a half a year of revenue, which would be somewhere around nine to $10,000. So if we said, fine, let's do, a, let's add it into our budget for next year of six to $9,000 for marketing, we know that we will be taking that much in, and if we decide to spend it in those months, we're still okay because we've still got the money set aside. Yeah, the second part of Kathy's statement is the decision directing, if you're going to say, this is how much we want to spend and give Sandra the responsibility of placing it, yeah. you've got to give her direction to where you want to go. Right. And that's kind of the problem we had last year. Right. So we, we didn't... And, well, and you didn't like the direction and... We didn't like the direction. And, and the direction she brought to us in the budget, when we said, okay, we have this much money, we... we said no we don't like that and that's why we came up with the billboard so if we said pick a number and we said this is what we would like to budget in the first two quarters six thousand dollars then she's got to come up <laughs> with somewhere to spend the six thousand dollars now we we know we're committed for the rest and and if and if that works we still have money left over we can amend the budget it's just a plan. It's just it's just a plan. We can amend the budget. We can send right. that back to the board of aldermen and say it's working. And we still know that even at that point, we have the billboards coming up, and we have this ad ca campaign coming up, which we've already committed to. But we already had the money for that. Right? And we already had the money for that. More exactly. In the budget, who does that money that carry over that they're going to have? It's not going to show up in the tax commission line on it, does it? Or no, it comes in as revenue to in kind of her budget. No, I'm, I'm talking about in the tax commission budget. That's a separate sheet. Yeah, it's a separate. Well, yeah, it is. Is. But you know, how do they carry over that? If you have money left over at the end of the year, which is different. It just stays it's in there. It just stays. Is there a line that says? Well, not the way they not the way they show it now. When, when I was treasurer, we showed it a little differently. But the way they show it now, it just shows at the end of the of the quarter or whatever it is how much money we have left. It doesn't, doesn't show anything on what our expenses are. But right now, we have no expenses except for the twenty. There is one. Million. It's a cash carryover. It's just a carryover. Yeah. Carry That's all it is. It's just, and this page here is actually. This page here is actually what's left. That first second, that second page is, is actually what's left. 
and, and out of this 23, the only thing we have left to spend is is uh, 23,000 is uh, 2,300. I mean, that's the only bill we've got coming in. And see, what happened was last year, we asked for her to do these things and the only thing that came up was, actually was the billboard. And that was on our own doing and then the 500 for uh, each of the two Facebooks and then the 500 for this ad. So we spent another $1,500 plus and that was all. And we had 22,000 coming in and there was some left over from the year before. And that's, that's the, the rube of the whole thing is that why sit on the money why not do some advertising with it? But do the advertising where we want to do it with the help of the uh, marketing person. Okay, so do we have a motion to, to add to the budget a marketing amount for, let's say, the first two quarters? Not that we're gonna use it, but we could. So we, I would come up with a proposal for the amount for first quarter and a proposal for the amount for second quarter, and then you would kind of approve it as you go along. Yeah. Give us a number. That's where we are right now. I, I'd still fall back to, I'd like to have us plan a little more in advance when we can. Not always just you have to do this today and it has to be sure. spent tomorrow. Right. I, I, well, I really would like to see more stuff on paper. You, you, okay, not to get off the subject, but, but as part of the subject, yes. is, she is going, going to call for a meeting of the advisory council in the next two weeks. We can listen to what they have to say. And if we say we're going to commit X number of dollars and we tell them we, as a tax commissioner, are committing that, but not to anything specific. Give us some ideas. And she goes back and works on it. That's then we still have that going in as a budget of marketing X number of dollars. But she comes back to us and says, from the consensus of opinion, we think we should do thus and so. We don't actually send that to the Board of Aldermen. It just says marketing X number of dollars. Actually, what, we, what we're doing is we're saying we're marketing 16000 We're going for a billboard, for the continuance of the billboard for 11000 And we've got another marketing amount set aside for publication. What's publication? Is it a website? Is it a, is it a, a printout? Is it, is it a magazine? Is it uh, another TV ad? for publication for X number of dollars. So you have three things going into the budget. The aldermen don't care and they have no say right, in right. it. Right, I get it. And they have no yeah. say in it. We just need an amount. What do you guys think? I mean, if we have eighteen to twenty thousand dollars coming in, we sure shouldn't sit on that. No. And if, if something comes up that, that works real well, let's say they give her a, an opportunity in, in some, not a local magazine, but let's say Midwest Living. Now those are very, very expensive. And they're a one-shot deal. But if, they, if, if something comes up, because they could, for all we know, they could be hurting too for advertisement. And, they could, and something could come up. Or uh, something to tag along with whatever she's, she's got in the, in the grant for us to tag along to it for something else. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but we need an amount. And it's just, it just a line item as far as the, the board of Auburn are concerned. How much? $5,000. I was saying $20,000. <laughs> well, let's meet somewhere in between. Okay. We ain't got $20,000. Can't realize the only, only money that comes into this fund is from, most of it comes from, uh, Microtel. Microtel. Yeah. Yeah. And we and I know that his projects are down, and so he we don't know what he, sixty four percent up till now has always been from him. So we don't know whether whether you know. So let's say he he drops by half. So that's then thirty two percent. So that means we only get thirty two percent from him, 
And so we're going to lose 32%. So 32% is one third, and one third of 20,000 is basically 6,000. So if we would be hurting that bad, it could happen. Then in, we shouldn't take it all. So let's go for a six or eight thousand dollar marketing. Because in December, December, January, and February, I do good to make twelve hundred dollars a month. So I only pay in two percent of twelve hundred dollars. Seventy five hundred. We can always amend it down. That's better than 20000 I don't know where she came up with that. <laughs> well, now that I have your attention, how about 7500 <laughs> Well, how do you feel about that one, Gary? I don't care. I don't. Okay, she makes a motion that we put in for marketing for the fiscal year. Is that a motion? Yes, that's my motion. a motion for the fiscal year. Well, I am not seconding it. <laughs> <laughs> He's sticking to his guns. I'll second that. $7,500 is the marketing amount. And to coordinate it again with our tourism director. We have no specific for that. All right. Let's get the discretion of her then. I mean, of Sandra. No, it's not her. She she loves to spend our money. Hmm. I'm just saying though. It's, it's her discretion. Yeah. But she has to. But what she has to do is she has to present it to us. Right. Okay. Because if you don't do that, then you're not going by. Um, the obligation that we have, our fiduciary duty, to look after the money. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I ain't a problem. Yeah. I, mean, but, I mean, the problem we had last year was everything in the budget was for magazines. And yeah. That was the, that's why we went to billboards. And that seems to be where the bulk of the co-op grant goes. It's all magazine advertising. And that's the problem. See, so we've got that covered. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about that part. You can do ours. Flyers handed out on the street. Yeah, <laughs> really. But it has to be spent. It, the only, only, only caveat we have on this whole thing is it has to be spent to bring people to St. Genevieve. In other words, as much as I like to see more signage in the town and, and billboards, you know, that has to come from a different town. Yeah, it has to come from somewhere else to bring them into the town. That's the only thing that we have. Uh, we can't do it any other way. I'll tell you right now, I'm on the board of BBIM, and we spent, which has been breakfast in Missouri, and last year we spent $21,000 on magazines and got basically no return on your money. No return. You know, and so this year we're cutting it down to maybe like one magazine, and that's it. Because print ad just is a waste of money on magazines. Yeah, it's not working. Um, maybe. Um, there's an area that we tried with Facebook it, to, to buy ads somewhere at Google or something right. like that. I don't know. I mean, that That's actually one thing um, <clears throat> in follow-up with the Post-Dispatch and the people at Feast. You know, Feast is owned by the Post-Dispatch. I've asked them to give me a digital proposal to build off of the momentum that we'll be creating with their readership because mm -hmm. There's the hard copy Feast magazine, and then there's the digital Feast magazine as well. And, and then they offer special campaigns. So I've asked them for kind of an expansion of what we're doing in the hard copy. Mm -hmm. I, 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 that internet media is so wide ranged and so many things going on, and there's probably, that we don't know about, 100 scams out there too, yeah. where they take your money and you don't get anything out of it. So. We just have to uh, guide your judgment. Okay, I'll call for a vote on that. All in favor? Aye. I thought we redid. Aye. Oh, because I said I abstain. Or you, you, no. you wavered on that second. But Can you I did abstain? Second. No, you can't abstain. <laughs> you can't abstain. You already seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay, so our budget actually is jumped up. <laughs> Mike, it was my recommendation then when uh, Sandra called this 2014 marketing general approach thing that the Tourism Tax Commission be included in that discussion. I mean, it's yeah. uh, it's not just the Tourism Advisory Council. Yeah. I, I think we need to embrace. Yeah. And here's, here's the thing, I think, on that is, is if, if we do pretty well, you know, in our first quarter and beginning of the second quarter with these ads and that, 
we still got all the way to the end of September for our budget. And if we're doing pretty good, it's, it's a given that we'll do better in the summer months, we always do. And if, and if we're doing pretty good, why not make an amendment to it and, and not sit on that money? Well, there's two advantages with your money now. It can be used for less than 50 miles oh, away yeah. advertising. Yes. Is, is and, I, and I, you know, I have, like, they always count across the river as greater than 50 miles, even though it's closer, because it's, it's not, it's supposed to be the way the crow flies, but it doesn't when you have a river. But for, for even for us to advertise, you know, in, in Festus and Farmington and, and you know, uh, places like that, uh, if we come up, somebody comes up with something, approaches her, she's got some bucks. Well, and I, I think that's the other point I wanted to make. It's opportunities arise at different times uh, when the budget's very tight. Having yeah. that little, it's not a bank, it's just unallocated money right. that you all can make the decision that says, yeah, we're going to spend that money for this right. this thing that came up. Yeah. So, sounds good. Okay, the last thing on the agenda is election of officers. Uh, I might tell you that uh, Bob cannot vote. He's not officially been appointed, but he is going to take Bob. a position. Uh, the mayor called me yesterday and said that they made their selection. He's mm -hmm. going to be the... He's going to save it. Here you go. <laughs> just call it today, right? But anyway, we you need to you need to uh, vote for president, a vice president, and that's someone that takes in charge, and a secretary. We don't no longer have uh, a. Who's the current vice president? Me. Okay, I move that the current officers remain in place. Is Mike Hankins as president, Gary as the vice president and secretary, and Jim Ferguson as the treasurer. So you just didn't want no job at all, right? I'm just faster than you are today, Gary. <laughs> Second the motion. I still got it. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should have thought about that before you said that. Yeah. Second the uh, motion. So you got any objections to that? No. I'll second the motion. Because you didn't even ask if he wanted to be any, president. Any further yeah. discussion? Okay, yeah, I'll call for a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 And Gary has a meeting at, at 1230. 1230. We, oh, okay. we will have a phone call. A phone call. Yeah. So I said we would be out of here by 1215. Okay. Thank you very much. Any, any further? Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. Second. Hi. Thank you for watching Channel 798. Thank you for watching Channel 798. Hi. Thank you very much for watching Channel 798.